Every video is made up of succession of still images. Each individual image is called a frame, which is where you see the term frames per second or FPS. Most videos are filmed at around 25 to 30 frames per second. In this video, I'll show you how to extract frames from a video and save them as high quality image files. VLC is an open source media player. You can use it to extract frames from a video. Before going ahead, I want to let you know that if you wanted to capture only one or two images, then taking a screenshot will do the job. VLC has a screenshot tool that can capture images with high quality. To take a screenshot, get to the scene that you want to capture. Then from the VLC's menu bar, select video and click on take snapshot. Your frame is now captured and saved in the pictures folder on your computer. But when you want to extract a series of frames or even all frames from a video, the screenshot tool will be inefficient. In this scenario, you'll have to use VLC's image extractor tool, which can do the job in just a single click. So please follow the steps for getting frames from a video using the VLC media player. From VLC's menu bar, select tools, then click on preferences. In the lower left corner, select all under show settings. In the video section, expand filters. Then click on scene filter. Here, set the image format to JPEG or PNG. By default, the image width and image height are set to value minus one. With this value, VLC will create an image of the same size and resolution as the video file. For example, if your video is 4K resolution, you'll get the same 4K image files. However, you can also set a custom resolution for the output images. Then choose an image named Prefix. Then specify the path where you want to save the image files. Now comes the most important one, which is the recording ratio. The recording ratio decides in what interval you want to capture the frames. For example, if you want to export one in every 10 frames, type 10 in the recording ratio box. In such a case, if your video is 30 FPS, it will extract 3 images per second. And if your video is 5 second long, it will extract 15 images in total. Similarly, if you put 1, it will extract every frame from the video. Once you have entered your desired number, navigate to filters again and click on it. Then check the box next to scene video filter. Click save. To make the changes take effect, remember to close VLC player and reopen it. Now you can play the video from which you want to extract the frames. VLC will automatically capture the frames and save the images into the specified folder. You will have to let your video play till the end. If you pause the video, the frame extraction will also stop. And when you continue the video, the frame extraction will resume again. As you can see, VLC captured the frames in the time interval we set in VLC settings. And images are of the same quality as the original video. Once you are done extracting frames from a video, you need to turn off the scene video filter option in VLC. If you forget to do this, VLC will keep extracting the frames from every single video you play in it.